Hey everyone, what is going on? It is your boy The Optimal and welcome to episode 1 of the brand new podcast coming to my channel, Life in General. I'm here today with my good friend and co-host of this podcast, Imperfectionist. Uh, hi guys. Uh, he's brand new to this sort of thing, he's going to be starting his YouTube channel really soon, so he's a bit shaky but I'm pretty sure with a bit of, as this podcast goes on he'll get really used to his role. Well, let's hope so, shall we? So, in today's podcast, we just want to really, I don't know, just discuss what we're going to be doing on this podcast in the future. It's going to be a weekly thing, or every other week, or whenever the fuck we can do it. I don't know. <laughs> um, have you got anything to add? Um, yeah, well, I'm hoping this is uh, going to be a regular thing, uh, hopefully for both of our channels. My channel isn't actually officially up yet. It's going to be put up in a week from now. Um... I'm going to be posting content like Gary's Mod, uh, maybe Minecraft, not too sure about that sort of area yet. And I, Minecraft. <laughs> and I will be playing some Advanced Warfare when it does come out to see if the game is any good. Um, yeah, that's about it for my channel. So, what, what we really want to do with this entire podcast type thing is we just really want to give you guys like a gaming news gaming updates and just everything gaming in general talk but it actually be unbiased and not be oh yeah be sh or to we've got these guys sponsoring us be sure to go check them out and all that crap we don't want any of that we want if we've got an opinion on it we want it to be our opinion and as you already know i'm an opinionated prick and well i am one too yeah he's in, he's an even more of one i'm worse <laughs> Yeah, he's he's like the darker version of me. Like, I'll 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 only the say there's the, let's just imagine there's a line in the sand. I will go right up to that line and then I, I will, will stop and apologize. He he will cross <laughs> it and cross the border to Jamaica. He will just he yeah, will I'll swim. Be, I will be far past that line. Oh my god! Like, <sighs> I w I won't come back from that. So. <laughs> We thought really that we just we just honestly were kind of sick of listening to things like the uh, PKA podcast where it's oh yeah do you think this game's gonna be any good oh yeah it's gonna be amazing and then like the next week after the sponsors run out they hate it and I'm not, we're just sick of stuff like that and we just want to show that it's different and you have an opinion on that and we'll hopefully be getting a couple of other YouTubers involved to like do interviews and get their points across and get a debate going and things because that's what a podcast is meant to be. Uh, to be honest, I don't want, I don't know uh, much about the community, uh, smaller YouTubers or anyone uh, right now. So anyone that we do interview will be from the Optimal's point of view or their side. So uh, who are you thinking of interviewing? Well, currently I already have one person confirmed. It's EDS3 Gaming. I've known him now for a few months. He's a really good YouTuber. I think I shouted him out in a channel of the week a few weeks ago. He's, 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 he's honestly one of the people I know. If we get him on the show, we're gonna get a good show because he quit COD when he didn't like it. He didn't join, jump on the bandwagon and quit when everyone else did. He didn't jump on the bandwagon and join back when he quit. He was done, and he hasn't gone back. He's currently doing Destiny, and he. He's getting used to it. He's not the best player, but he's getting used to it. And he'd much rather get used to a new game than play the same recycled shit, which is what I think he said in one of his videos. Which is a fair point. So that's why I want to get him on the show. I've DM'd him on Twitter. He's down to do it. Uh, I also hope to get someone like Britic HD in. Maybe someone like Rob's Life. Just because they're pretty chill guys. I know they're good YouTubers as well. well. And we can get a good well, show. Let's hope we get some positive feedback on this video, and uh, well, well, there'll be more to come in the future, I'm sure. Yeah. So, so our first debate that we want to talk about is advanced warfare, and what we actually think is going to happen with it. Whether it's going to be a flop, uh, as an, a, like another sledgehammer game, which like Modern Warfare Three was, which I despise, or is it going to be something new and something that could fix Call of Duty? Well, I, I, I honestly think that Advanced Warfare is going to be a refresh for the Call of Duty Empire, if you would. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing so what sort of new innovations they have with the game. 
looking forward to the you know the jumping on buildings aspect the uh levolution <laughs> you see I, I am looking forward to that and i think that is going to be really good it's just i, I don't know it, it just seems like halo and titanfall had a baby wow well <laughs> and it it was just advanced warfare that 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 is literally what it is and they've just got well, who's the guy that's doing the voices for the campaign that actor I, like that's literally the only difference well, i i don't know about stuff like that i'm not that in depth in anything i actually I, I have high hopes it, for zombies uh this time around i haven't looked at any spoilers or anything online but there was a easter egg on a room on a controller or something that zombies might be in advanced order. yeah th- yeah it's not it's uh, not in they've already conf- they confirmed that a while ago it's not well, in anymore i, I agree every so, time yeah uh, <laughs> you're so last year yo uh, I'm gonna miss zombies. But no, um, that's the only one reason. They, they, I'm they, going to miss Activision not be doing it this year. So they're gonna do. Um, uh, I, I, I think they're doing a co-op mode, kind of like survival was on Modern Warfare Three, but it's gonna be better. I don't know, really know. It's it, let's just say it's gonna be better than whatever Ghost did. What was that like? Extinction, in, extinction oh or whatever it was. Extinction was all right. But I think I've played it, ten it, minutes. It, I think I've played. It got ten really minutes. repetitive and boring. They brought. Out, I don't. No, I just I just hate that game in general. Call of Duty Ghosts. No, uh, and that that's what I'm worried about because every card seems every year seems to get a little bit more campier. Yeah, <laughs> uh, if you know what I mean, like. Modern Warfare 3 was like really where it started to change, where people just started to like sit in corners and tactically wait for people in spots. Black Ops 2 was a bit more rushy, but that's because you had to, but then you still had them pricks with the target finders, LMGs, whatever like that. And it, it, it got really annoying, and Call of Duty Ghosts was literally just, like, I don't, I don't know, like, Let's say in a, in a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 game, your soldier would make like 10,000 steps in the match, Call of Duty, it's like a hundred. Call of Duty goes, it's probably like a hundred, <laughs> and that's just to get to one camping spot. Yeah, to the that's other. why I didn't. I wasn't a big fan of Ghosts. Uh, the fact that Black Ops Two is probably my favorite Call of Duty, uh, and without the aspect of like rushing and you had to play more strategically, that wasn't really for me. I like the the whole thrill of the moment where you just run out and you get like a triple. I don't like Ghosts at all. But the but the thing the thing is Ghosts isn't even strategic play. It's not strategic at all. It's literally just let's just lie down and not even move and then as soon as we get one kill a year like you see people with like five KDs and then you look at their kills per minute and it's like zero point two. I'm just like, how are you even playing Call of Duty? Or are you playing Armor Those Three? Some dedicated people to just sit there. Oh my god, I'd I'd, I'd hate. Yeah, and they're like Prestige One, and their game time's like a hundred hours. It's mental. I do believe my hours on Ghost are only like five at the moment. What the hell was that noise? That was, that was my water bottle. Well, all right, you officially scared me. Thanks. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> just sat. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Jimmy. What are you doing in okay. here? Okay. <laughs> Close anyway. the door. Anyway. This just got dark <laughs> real quick. Uh, no, I, I do have high hopes for uh, Advanced Warfare, and if it is, if it does meet my expectations, I will be thoroughly pleased. If I want it to do well because I like Sledgehammer, I like the devs, I like how they're listening to the people. If you follow them on Twitter, you'll know that. They are... Like, let's just take this into consideration. The... Advanced Warfare were asking what people wanted, and let's say someone was, someone was concerned about Danger Close being in the game, and how they think loads of people think that shouldn't be in it. The developers, the lead devs, I can't remember his name, so apologies there. It's not like a Von der Haar outrage like it was the other year, but <laughs> he basically just like answered the questions within like ten minutes. He just responds to all of them. Like part, half of his job is just responding to Twitter, whereas the person who ran Call of Duty Ghosts, if you moaned about there being hackers two days into the game's release, you were blocked. <laughs> they didn't even respond. Wow. Uh, it, it's, it's ridiculous, really. It's like, let's not own up to the mistakes we've made. Let's not even make it look like we're a professional company. Let's just shit on our fans. That is terrible. I did not know about that um, at all. <laughs> so, that's a surprise. Yeah, it, it was horrid. Um... 
it, it doesn't surprise me because honestly, Call of Duty Ghosts has just been that game that like everyone's hated, but everyone everyone still feels on YouTube they need to play it. It's like it's because most for like a small YouTube channel like myself and soon to be you. It's really hard to get up there. Like I know that I've been doing it for a year. It's hard to get good views on YouTube videos. Uh, but and Call of Duty Ghost gets the best views. Like you, if you upload a Call of Duty Ghost gameplay, that's like I don't know what 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 is it? Chem Strike on yeah. Ghosts. Yeah. If you get a Chem Strike, you're gonna get like a hundred views at least because that's what people want to come and see. And I don't understand why people want to come and see it because everyone on Twitter and Facebook hates it. They just watch it because it's a Call of Duty video. It's the same with FIFA, really. Like everyone moans that FIFA's the same recycled shit, but they still go out and buy it and watch Mini Men to play it. <laughs> everyone just wants to see the same. Yeah, I get you. Everyone just wants to play um, the game, I guess. And even though it is recycled, you know, there's still the dedicated fans that will always be out there, always waiting to buy it. It's yeah. the same with sort of like. And I have no example. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why it's so hard to grow on YouTube because as much as people want change human nature they naturally don't want change to happen they're like happy as it is and it's kind of like we're sick of the game and we're sick of watching the same recycled boring shit but at the same time we're so used to it it, we, it wouldn't be right for us to do anything else it, it wouldn't seem right and it would be a whole new game like, so many people come from Ghosts and they're just, like, bashing on Destiny and it's because they haven't given it a chance. Personally, I'm not getting Destiny, but that's not because I don't... I'm, I'm not giving it a chance, it's just it's not my type I'm of game. I'm not getting Destiny because I personally don't like it, but, you know, that's a whole different uh, story. Any, It's like, it's a similar game to Halo and I'm not into Halo. Yeah, I, so. I was never a massive fan of Halo, I did try it, but, you know, still not a big fan of games like that. This, that's why I am hesitant uh, slightly for Advanced Warfare. Uh, my my like mm. my biggest uh, question for it would be like, what what do you think they're gonna do with like the separate consoles? Because you know Xbox One, do you think they'll add anything to it? Uh, and then PS4, do you think they'll have anything added? Because people on lower consoles can't necessarily play the same quality. Maybe. Um, well. Well, Call of Duty Ghosts is hard to go by because that went out on PS3, Xbox 360. It was very difficult for them to do any sort of next-gen stuff specifically for next-gen. Just like with FIFA 14, that was released on PS4 after PS4 came out. Uh, but they couldn't do anything because it was already out on the PS3, so it was hard for them to make any next-gen yeah, changes. Yeah, they've done that exact same thing. They've released it on Xbox 360 and PS3 and then... When Xbox One and PS4 were announced, they continued updating, and they're going to release it soon, or have they already released it? It's in November for PS4 and Xbox One, but that that's different though because with FIFA, it was like a month later it came out for next gen, whereas GTA they've held back and had a year basically redeveloping the whole game for PS4 and Xbox One and PC. But what what I'm trying to say is. It's with their, with, It's a bad example to use with Ghosts because they didn't really add any extra features apart from I think you got like DLC a week earlier or something. Uh, it was a lot harder to say that just because there was literally like a week after PS3 version came out, the PS4 version did. But with this one, it's like it's been made for the PS4, then downgraded for PS3 and Xbox 360. So what I think they're gonna do is they're really just gonna focus on the the next gen games next gen consoles first and probably i don't know probably exclude certain game modes from current gen in, consoles in words, or whoever pays older the most gens. money gets the best sort of quality gameplay yeah well that that's understandable because if you spend 400 pound on a ps4 you're gonna want better quality than someone that's got a ps3 because otherwise what's the point in upgrading mm, i suppose some people do just follow and you may as well have just it. kept your ps3 yeah, well, or in my case, your PS4 breaks and you can't oh, of use course, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Uh, I'm going to very find it very hard to get gameplay within the next two weeks until my PS4 gets fixed or I replace it and get a PC, because the shitty thing decided that I'm not going to work anymore and the fan just imploded or something, and every time I turn it on, 
uh, people who have the PS4 are going to know what I'm on about. When you turn the PS4 on, it kind of goes like... And then just carries on going. But this type, this is what mine does. It sounds like it's literally got asthma. It's like... And it, it repeats it. And it's horrible. And then like this, I get like a black screen for like 15 seconds. Then it comes up with like some updates. It's, trying, it's like synchronizing your saved format or something well, you like know that. What? I'm actually and then, happy your PS4 is broken. It's going to encourage you to play more PC games. Like you, you're not it, even it, into it, like Counter Strike, you know, all that sort of stuff is so much better. And in my opinion, I think like compared to the card trolling community, you know, it's just insane. It's you don't get so much of that on there. I I agree and disagree. I really do, I you've known for like two years now. I want to get into PC gaming. Like, yeah, but you it's know gonna that. give you the extra kick, you know, just to get into it. Yeah, I I was or I'm already planning on building a PC, whether I've got a PS4 or not. The reason why I'm I'm happy about it is because if they can't fix it, I've got something to sell to like what what are they called? Where they like take stuff out, they take the parts out and then sell it for um, parts basically. Use them for other stuff. Yeah, I can sell it to that for what like well, how much is a PS3 a PS4 second hand like four hundred quid, three hundred quid, something like that. Um, I mean that's that's like a top of the range graphics card, pretty much. Well, not top of the yeah, range, you know. What I mean, you. like a good budget graphics that would be card. A good, that would be a decent PC. I mean, my PC was cheap as hell. It can run everything, which is nice. And then there's all my PS4 games. I've got like well, like six or seven PS4 games, all fifty quid <laughs> each still, except for Ghost, which is like yeah, a ten. That's no surprise to anyone. I'll, I'll I'll just I will literally just burn that on a fire. Right? All right, so you've got a new YouTube yeah, video I, coming to your channel. Ghost being burnt. No, no, like, no, literally, like, if if I went into game and they gave me 10 quid, I would give them 10 quid to get rid of the game. <laughs> like, I would rather be charged you to get rid of that game than... I, I, I just want the thing to break, like, I would happily just snap it on webcam, but I know my mum would shout at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so, I'm a bit annoyed about my PS4 breaking. As you can probably tell, it's a, it's a, it's a kick in the balls, really. Because I was, I'm trialing for a competitive team on Battlefield 4 that's got like 40k like supporters and they finished third in the World Cup on Battlefield 4, which is really good. I mean, there's like, well, like hundreds of teams that compete in that and they finished third and they came, they offered me a chance to trial for them. And I felt quite, I felt quite honoured because it's not often like that's a professional team and they're asking me to join them well not join them but trial and then you broke your um, PS4 you scrap I was like my PS4 I didn't break it it just turned it just one day decided I don't want well, to work PS4, anymore a like, machine just killed herself yeah like literally the fan just was like nope <laughs> and imploded oh my god it was like do you want to join this team or no yeah and you, blow you got up. wrecked by machinery there I got wrecked by Sony. Rip PS4 bloke, killed to death. <laughs> uh, I love that sort of thing. But yeah, that right. Is, I forgot what I was going to say. That's literally all I, ha all I uh, have to talk about at the moment. Um. Well, let's just go a bit further into like PC ideas and like what we what I. If I do upgrade to PC, well, I'm going to upgrade to PC anyway, but I will still remain, if I do fix my PS4, I will still remain mainly console on well, my you YouTube channel. Become, you could, you could Simply, become like a main PC gamer, like buy all the games that you want on PC. You know, mouse sensitivity is a lot better than controller. Yeah, I know I know what you're saying, but be, it's just like, I'll probably still stick to console simply because Reference. I'm... Yeah, preference. I'm more used to it. I feel more comfortable playing it because because when I first get a, a PC, I'm pretty much learning how to play a video game again. Because I mean, I can't aim for shit well, on I PC. I felt the same way when I first and, started games like uh, Counter Strike, Gary's Mod, all that sort of stuff. I just got wrecked every time when I shoot out. But now, if I play Counter Strike, I can get a five man and just like walk away. That six man yeah, I got. That, was, that wasn't even fair. Like his first ever game, he got a six man on Counter Strike. <laughs> My first ever, literally the first ten seconds. Like everyone's moaning at me because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like walking to the side of the map, and then I just see all of them, and I just take them all out, and everyone's just like, yeah. "The fuck!" 
There was like there was like some like Chinese dude talking shit to me like you're fucking your slayers. <laughs> And then, like, I kill them all, and he's like, oh, well done, GG. Yeah, that was uh, the best I've ever seen in Counter-Strike. And I got a camo in the end of that, so that was good. Yeah, and then the, and then I died, like, eight times after that, so yeah, that was good. Yeah, luck, you know. But I will, I will remain probably, probably mainly console if it gets sorted out, but I will do a Garrett's Mod series, definitely, Counter-Strike, because that is a game I definitely want to get. Next gen battlefields are probably hard line. I don't know about Battlefield Four, maybe, but Battlefield Four is just still broke. Um, but I'd probably live stream more than um, actual commentaries. Yeah, for PC li- live streaming because, stuff like uh, Counter Strike is very popular. So because if I'm gonna get good and like I, I want to, ex- I want everyone to experience it. Like I wanna, I wanna embrace it. You know what I mean? Like I want yeah, everyone to here, see right? how shit I am. I, no, I want everyone to see how shit I am at the start, just so they Starting know that I'm shit, the and then when I get good, I can just prove to all the people that are crap at the game, like, you can be good too. Oh, alright, if you want to be like that. I'll be doing it for the noobs out there. You can play, you can play with me. I'll be doing it for the noob tubers. That, that'll yeah. be fun. And I need to teach you how to build on Gary's mod. Uh, me and uh, Optimal like to play um, Dark RP, but he hasn't gotten around to recording it yet. Yeah, and that is something I will definitely be planning on bringing to my channel in the future. It's just, it's really just with my laptop. I use my laptop for everything, and I just run out of memory all the time. And I'll have like stored gameplays that I need to edit, and then I've only got ninety gig. And then fraps. If I if I use fraps or any other recording software, ninety gigs is like what, like twenty <laughs> minutes of gameplay. I mean that's that's a lot, but I mean that's quite a lot for YouTube, but. In 20 minutes, what happens? We probably build a base and like someone and tries to raid RDM. us, and then we get con. <laughs> yeah, no. So we'll build a base. Someone will try and raid us whilst building the base. We'll kill them, and then they'll accuse us of RDM in our base that says chaos. Yeah, if we do line. end up recording Gary's one, we will have to avoid admin. So if we do get RDM, we'll just have to deal with it at the time and just leave it. No, if, it'd be funny. We could like make like a computation at like the end of every like series. Just have like the admin abuse is oh, real. My. And just have like twenty minute footage of just us arguing with the admin saying we did nothing wrong, and they're just like, "Yeah, but I'm only four years old and incompetent and don't even know the rules. You're banned yeah, for eight would, years." <laughs> that sounds like fun. All right, a competition to see if we <laughs> piss off the admins more. Who can get banned first? I'm very, I'm very, I, I'm like the best person at speaking to admins because I've been like literally like an inch off getting banned off so many servers, and then I literally just say like. Oh yeah, well you've broken several rules yourself, and then I'll go on to like I'll just I will not let them speak for like five minutes. I'll just insult them with like their own words and contradictions, Break out the and then accent. they'll just be like, "No, I'll literally no," because I I I remember what they say, and then I'll just be like, "Yeah, well that's like abuse to me and shit," and then I'll like call them racist or whatever because they were accusing a French person of something a while like two weeks ago <laughs> and then I will just bring everything back and then they'll just be like okay you can stay in the server but this is your last chance and to be honest I don't try and cause trouble it's just most admins are incompetent retards that like they they literally will be like oh this person RDM someone but I'm gonna take his side for no fucking reason <laughs> So you have to kind of just yeah, have a go at them. I mean, otherwise they will just like ban and jail, and it's just you never get anything done. To be fair, though, we could do a couple of troll I videos, mean, like just join a join a quick server, like advanced duplicate stuff, just throw it everywhere, lag out the server. Like that happened a few days ago. It was hilarious. Stuff like that is just brilliant. Yeah. <sighs> well. We've been doing this for about 23 minutes now. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty short for yeah, a podcast. Yeah, well, it will be longer but... uh, next week. Um, next week, or whenever we post the next one, because uh, we will have someone to interview, and it will be a lot longer, hopefully. Uh, we'll probably introduce them nearer to the end of the video, and we'll maybe... Yeah, well, it will be a good 20-minute interview. We want to get like an in-depth analysis on whatever the topic is, their point of view, and plus their actual channel, because a lot of you guys might not even know who they are. All right, well, this has been our podcast, I guess. Um... Yeah, this has been Life in General, Episode 1. Uh, I'm the Optimal. This the is The Imperfectionist. And it's a fucking rap. <laughs>